Hello my friends, and welcome to Rogue State Revolution First Impressions. This uh, game appeared in my inbox, and uh, <laughs> I don't know if it wants me to take it seriously or not. <laughs> <laughs> so, I was fiddling with the settings to turn the music down before I began. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it turns out that the music's pretty funny. Let's go. Leader surname. Should I put real surname in there? No, nope, let's put in a meme. Jenkins. Okay. Gentle start. I'm almost tempted to turn that off, but I have heard that this game's actually really complicated, so we'll we'll leave it be. Do you fear somewhere out there that you are being watched by a chicken? This mode guarantees that no chickens will appear in your game. <laughs> what? Are your picnics often ruined by a fear of murder hornets? This mode guarantees that no wasps or hornets, murderous or otherwise, will appear in your game. Uh... Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's just leave everything default. Bind his hands and throw him into the sea. <laughs> so apparently this isn't meant to be like Middle Eastern Tropico. Should be fun. <clears throat> it is a turn-based game. Tropico is real time. In Basenji today, there is a mood of jubilation as thousands crowd the streets in celebration. The first ever democratic election in the People's Republic of Basenji is a success. Five years ago, the monarchy was replaced by a transitional government. And now, finally, after great struggle, democracy has come to Basenji. For the first time, century is a dog, history, isn't it? Isn't it a dog? And ethnic Karifi <laughs> are voting for a government of their choice. Uh, Twelve political parties campaigned, representing a wide political spectrum. With the largest, the Basenji Nationalist Party. <laughs> there's a, there's a Basenji statue right there. <laughs> uh, oh, this is funny. My name is Sibiria. I have been assigned as your political strategist. And I am Yusuf. I will be serving as Tuck your arms in, shit bird! <laughs> task is to appoint cabinet roles for representatives from across oh, the that's a... These are critical positions. Oh, it bothers me so much. Cabinet members are constitutionally... I think this is wrong as well. That should be uh, from aligned Indeed, left a bit you more. You will be stuck with these ministers, for better or worse. I would advise you listen to their needs. And I say look for loyalty. There will be hard days ahead. <laughs> we will need a cabinet that is on our side. No matter what. I just noticed his hat has got Basenji with a little dog on it. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> I can see the comparison to Tropico now. Let's appoint our cabinet for Basenji's glorious future. Frugal. Construction costs lowered for buildings related to his ministry. He may alter policies in his ministry randomly without your consent. Uh, that doesn't sound so great. 
Minister will start with three favour points. Loyalty of other ministers will drop by 1% every third turn. Nah, that doesn't sound so great either. Civilian units specific to his department get a free upgrade. Minister can die at any time. <laughs> well, to be fair, you can probably just replace these people at some point. That's a negative I can probably deal with. He can only work in the Ministry of Defense or the Ministry of Natural Resources. As free upgrade sounds pretty good in the Ministry of Defense. Resourceful. Extra event options are made available to events specific to that ministry. <coughs> Moron! <laughs> can only go in the Ministry of Defense. That's funny. Increased approval from the public in his home province. Ignoring his requests has a greater impact on his loyalty to you. I think we can work around that, potentially. Each of them have got these symbols here as well, which I'm not really sure what they 100% mean. Her ministry operates with zero cost. <clears throat> minister will vanish for a few turns occasionally. No requests can be fulfilled for that minister while absent. Wow, they've all got really serious problems. Siphons small quantities from the treasury each month, but upgrades from his department cost only favours, never cash. And he can only work in finance. Or one of the other two slots, I guess. Feels to me like the downsides are actually pretty severe. Oh well, let's go random policies in natural resources. I got two people here who can work in finance, the tactless one or uh, the one that steals money. I don't think I want a thief as my ministry of finance. <laughs> that, that strikes me as probably being a bad idea. Know that every 12 months you may appoint a new cabinet minister for an unstaffed ministry, should you choose to do so. Okay. <clears throat> Excellency! Okay, things cost action points, makes sense. <clears throat> Power plant has no fuel. Okay, so I just need to reconnect these up by road, I guess, to my nearest city. That shouldn't be an issue. Okay, I upgraded the road as you wanted. This is all standard tutorial stuff. We must produce our own food and not rely on the UN. Okay. 
Agriculture can be placed on green tiles. Okay, simple enough. Senji cities will demand more food to stay content. Urban citizens who purchase these goods. Okay, fine. Okay. Well, let's dismantle the camp that's next to the food supply we just built. I don't know if that matters or anything, but... Spend funds and an action point to build a second agricultural field to support anticipated growth in our city's demands next month, or alternatively we could address the health crisis currently facing the province of Saba. The choice is yours, future-proof your economy and construct another agricultural field or build a regional hospital adjacent to the city somewhere in the province of Saba to care for our wounded. Do I not need to connect this oil derrick to the actual city network? I think I need to do that. Whoa. Have to left click drag. Okay. Buildings consume workers and power. Getting more power is a question of building more power plants. Getting more workers, however, is a much bigger problem. And now it's prudent to spread your buildings out between your provinces so you don't end up with a worker shortage. Wow, this looks really complicated. <clears throat> okay, because we have a Minister of Finance, we can also take out loans. It seems simple enough. Construct an army base. This is where all our military units are produced. Only one permitted. I guess I should build it next to like my major city. We have used all our actions for this month, let us reconvene next month. Okay. This game actually looks pretty complicated. In the end, I couldn't actually change the budget. I guess it requires a turn, and then you need a turn to actually build the army base.
An industrious shepherd appears to have hybridized a bunch of old cars to produce an armored bipedal tank. Okay. Now we're going Tropico. I may have made a big mistake. <laughs> Why would anyone do that? Because it's awesome. <laughs> what? It's going on in this game. This is probably a threat to our national security. Need to train a military unit. All have a role to play in combat, and it's up for you to decide which unit to train. However, I suggest that you not train a SAM truck. I can't train a SAM truck anyway, it's not on the list. Just start with some infantry. Order our troops to disable the civilian bipedal tank. Excellency, on our way. <laughs> Hopefully, his insurance covers all the damage he caused. Spent so much time thinking about how to create a giant homemade walking tank out of old cars and recovered munitions, I never stopped to think if I should. <laughs> what is going on in this game? Seriously. Okay. Setting our tax policy to regressive will increase our tax base if our people's prosperity is low. Our nation's liberals will absolutely hate this move, but maybe we can win back, win back their trust in other ways. <laughs> oh wow, that's harsh. <laughs> So uh, now it's like the poor guy is shoveling all of his money into the furnace. And the rich guy is just stood there. Okay. So we can research things. Choose a policy for the Minister of Defense to research now. You can even choose that silly bipedal walking tank if it means that much to you. But we'll probably need a lot of cash in a secret facility if we're going to go down that road. That's blatantly a mad cat ripoff. <laughs> Chemical weapons? Ground forces authorized to deploy chemical weapons on their enemies. Mortar units deliver plus one damage against infantry units. Activating this unlockable will result in extreme sanctions from the international community. By adopting universal conscription, the people will experience firsthand the responsibility that comes with citizenship. <laughs> Ground-based laser. Array of high-energy lasers specifically designed to destroy meteors. Okay, that's a... Uh, <laughs> that's a, sus a suspiciously specific technology. <laughs> I need an anti-meteor laser, I wonder why. <laughs> Couldn't be a meteor on its way, could there? Let's go with this. 
doesn't sound insane. We should assign policies for other people to research now. <clears throat> the, uh, I find the music's actually a little bit loud, although it is quite cool. Let me just uh, tone it down a little bit more. Okay. Deregulate fishing. Solar, hydro, wind. I guess we'll just start with something. Casino. Reform your banks so they protect assets from lawsuits, ensure financial privacy, and shield money from the taxation of other countries. Regulate cryptocurrency. God, even big nations can't get that done. <clears throat> I don't even know what half of this stuff does. Super notes. We can mass produce high quality counterfeit United States hundred dollar bills in bulk to gradually increase our treasury. If we get caught, however, we're in big trouble. People will surely rejoice to learn that our beloved highways have been upgraded to include state-of-the-art toll booths, so their leisurely drives may be interrupted in the interests of national service. <laughs> wow, that produces a lot of money. A fleet of biofuel buses in every major city will whisk pedestrians wherever they need to be, so long as they don't need to be there on time. <laughs> I love it. There's so much going on, though. I'm not like... I'm not really sure what... what to take. Privacy laws. Let's do a spectrum auction. Telephone engineers love a good spectrum auction. We should create a surveyor unit to scout for new resources. Okay, let's train from our palace. Drag him to the nearest resource node. There's a resource node near him, is there? I don't see it. Oh, I have to have him selected. Wow, this guy's got some amazing vision. Look, he can actually see the whole map. moved him there, the icon disappeared. 
Excellency. Uh, okay. Excellency. You have discovered oil. Interesting that you have like a very limited number of action points to use each turn. So I guess you're really gonna have to decide what you wanna do. Good morning, Excellency. Let's get that precious oil. Okay, we're gonna sell my oil. Chicken stand. Chicken stand? Okay. Okay. Export oil. Okay, fair enough. Need to make sure there's a road connection between the oil refinery and the border checkpoint with... Trajikistan? Trajikistan, I guess? I bet these are all joke names and I just don't get some of the jokes. Over time, resource producing buildings will experience corruption. Greedy hands will start cutting into our national bottom line. You should hire a facilities inspector to travel between your resource producers and address this. Oil refinery has ten percent corruption already. Excellency. Very well. I'm gonna send my surveyor Excellency. over here to examine all of these and see if there's any more resources. So I presume that 10% corruption means that you're going to lose 10% of your resources. The Basenji Liberation Front are on the move towards what's left of that armoured bipedal vehicle. My god, is this like, this is like such a plot device, this thing. infantry and I have one infantry so I guess I'm gonna need more infantry Excellency 
Oh, Excellent. you could reach from there. Attack range four. Oh, Excellency. that's cool. On our way. Go, boy. Excellency. Excellency. Nothing. This guy is actually in range of this. I don't know if I can actually stop him. Excellency. Understood. Okay, it's costing me action points to actually move military units as well. Excellency. 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 It looks like the combat is not particularly complicated. Excellency. Excellency. Excellency, Excellency. Oh, go on then, shoot him. Excellency. 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 I do not see what the problem is. On our way. Excellency. On Excellency. Our way. There we go. Okay. Yeah, it seems like the approval of all my provinces is actually dropping. Whoa, look at this complicated. <laughs> look at this complicated stuff. Okay. In many provinces our environmental ratings are falling. There is a lot of detail to this game, like a serious amount. For a for a game that I felt like was going to be a bit like Tropico and be, you know, full of humor. It actually seems to be quite a detailed simulation game. Okay, so my roads are not a problem. Some of them are slightly stressed. to make policy changes. <clears throat> there is no one way to proceed. You are the glorious leader. I'm not producing enough food either.
particularly here and here. Actually, I think the leaf is the environmental score. Well, I had a farm there, so... Okay, this is the place where the food is not... That was just kind of a guess, actually. <laughs> So I need to do something to improve the environment. It's quite expensive. Well, this, uh... Oh, I see. This has no ongoing money cost, but does use power in a worker. This has an ongoing money cost. Okay, objective complete. Build more agricultural fields, a plastics factory, and a manufacturing plant with a view to getting processed food production online before your citizens start to demand it. Building an intelligence agency and training spies will help us find BLF camps hidden across our nation. Okay. Well, I got two decisions left to make. I guess working on the food situation would probably be a good idea. Population 7, so there are 7 workers here. What should this factory produce? Luxury goods, consumer electronics, household goods, processed food. And it requires plastics to operate, so we have to build that as well. Five out of ninety. I guess this goes down as I am um, 
stressing my power network. Oil demand power generated 140. So why does it say 45 of 90? Okay, that food food place is like seven uh, seventeen percent corrupted already. Yes. I guess at some point you're gonna need to buy like loads of facilities inspectors and just have them in the right places. Very well. Excellency. Okay, I need an action point to do that. I have recently learned that we have no way of tracking if any state-owned farms produce genetically modified foods. a museum in Saba. Well, it's something that I can afford to do. Okay, we can add wings to the museum. The wing of American atrocities. Holding the United States accountable for their support of the cruel Salman regime, we will earn easy favor with the Russians. <laughs> wow, this game is quite political. <laughs> Not sure what I was expecting from the Middle Eastern version of Tropico, but anyway. favor with the guy. I don't know how you use favors. But what I do know is that I need power. a fair bit to maintain one of those. I think my economy needs to be a lot more secure before I consider building solar panels. 
they're gonna cost me two, uh... Two billion, whatever this is. Percenti... Percenti bucks, or whatever. Whatever, whatever they are. Building disabled due to blackouts. I don't really understand the, the power meter. It says 45 of 93, but we have a power plant here which is producing 80. Is the lack of oil the problem? Oil production 80. So 1880 would be 160. I guess I need to find more oil. That's the only thing I can think of. Yes. Unless there's some way to upgrade the Derrick. Requires twenty-five dollars and one favor from the Minister of Natural Resources. Reduces pollution generated at this site. I don't think that that really helps me right now with my uh, with my current problem. in the way of uh, of green grass either or I can put farms okay my budget is growing So, oil shortage must be the issue. I am not using any of this food either, so maybe what I should do is arrange to sell some to somebody. <coughs> they export food. Chicken stand. <laughs> what? Okay.
The nation is ruled by a tyrant chicken. Emperor Rusty is given executive oversight and his decisions are largely interpreted by expert staffers who study his vocalizations and body language. <laughs> nice. Does the chicken talk, or...? <laughs> I think it just clucks and they pretend they understand what it's saying. So this is what? A big joke? Everybody's in on it? <laughs> yeah, but they're so in on it that it's not a joke anymore. <laughs> How long do chickens live? I think they just replace the chicken every few years and hope nobody notices. <laughs> I know you would need this yourself. I know. <laughs> so that... <laughs> what is going on in this game? That's amazing. I love it. It's so dumb. Wow, I'm gonna make so much money off of that agreement to sell my uh, to sell my processed food, which I'm not using right now. In fact, maybe I will add a few solar arrays to assist with my power situation. Because I'm just gonna be able to afford to. Plus, it's not, it's never harmful to diversify your, uh, diversify your grid. Okay, so this number is going up. I wouldn't mind, like, a panel showing me exactly what is going on with power. Bijen, the Bijenchi, the Bisenchi Pedia. Anthem, bring us the king. I love it. I have, I have no clue. In theory, these oil power plants should be producing everything that I require, but... They obviously are not... They're, they obviously have an oil issue. What I really could do with is like a panel that shows me how resources are going. I don't know if there is one. Okay, I'll get over it. 
Excellency. Excellency. Use my last action point to see if any of these are anything. Nope. Excellency. Where's the next nearest? Well, oh, there's one there. Okay, there's a whole group of deposits down here, so let's go down that way. I think I can just set him to go all that way, and he'll just go all that way slowly. Yes. Like I did with this one. Claim illegal immigration and pledge to safeguard our borders. That's funny. Ha, huh, I didn't even get the actual other benefit. I don't know how I would do that, though. I could build that museum wing of... <laughs> the museum wing of American atrocities. That would allow me to do this. see if we can do that. I can't do it this turn. Seems like you use favors to do upgrades. That's weird. I'm clicking on the museum, but I can't actually... I don't see the panel to build that. Build that extra museum wing. It was right here. Now it's not. Oh, maybe, maybe because I don't have the money. Maybe it just hides things that you can't afford to do. Approval is dropping like everywhere. I guess the only thing I could really do here is like import oil. That would fix my power problem. Or split more of the money towards uh, power generation. It 
it's gonna be a long time to get a facilities inspector all the way over there. Twice as far for an action point. Yes. Go. Go right away. Excellency. 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 Why not? I'm not really doing much of my action points right now. Okay, <clears throat> I guess at some point I should build another farm and uh, uh, deconstruct one of these UN camps. Man, I am really not sure what I'm doing in this game to uh, further my goals. Let's, uh... Spend a favor from the Minister of Foreign, Foreign Affairs. Okay, they don't have oil. I could export food to them, but I actually don't really have much spare. A reminder that import agreements don't demand anything of our treasury. The cost of importing goods is borne by the public. Only negative impact is that we will deny ourselves the income that comes with not producing these goods ourselves. But does anyone actually have oil? Doesn't look like it. Okay, it doesn't really look like there's much I can do right now.
Minister Adad is using their position in government to secure lucrative contracts for their closest friends at the taxpayer's expense. Expose him! I'm sure he won't be happy. not enough food all of a sudden. Interesting that I didn't get any more money. weird how my food supply is suddenly cut off like this. Well, I certainly can't fix it by, uh, by building a farm because I don't have the money for that. food. I'm looking at the same guy here. Stand. I don't have a connection, so maybe this is why my trade is not working. What's weird is I'm not producing, uh, I, like, I have a serious food shortage. Yes. Yes. And why that is, is not immediately obvious. Anything, I'll find it. Okay, well, at least I removed yes. the corruption from that. Yes. The only thing I can think of is that I just need to build more farms. Excellency. Okay, he'll make his move at the end of this turn.
Okay. <laughs> Make contraceptives free for all. Plus one entertainment. Sounds entertaining to me. I can actually afford to do this. Next month you will gain between 10 and 18. Allegedly. But I am never seeing this money. Okay, imported food is now helping me to produce. Yeah, I just need another farm. But I genuinely can't afford one. Yes. 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 Reducing corruption at the farms yes. I do have is probably one of the few I things I can do. I don't know how you actually increase your standing with the uh the major countries. And in order to complete the next story mission objective, I need an intelligence camp, and that's going to cost me money too. really. Okay, I am actually gaining money. I probably should have invested more cash into extra farms early. Excellency, on our way. Excellency, 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 understood. Excellency, off you go, boys. Excellency. There yes. is an insurgent in the area. Yes. I should be I able to just run you. past him. I wasted money building this extra power plant. I can't actually use it. And I can't import the oil to, uh... I can't import the oil to actually run it. I should have just built more solar. Or maybe even researched wind instead. Excellency. Excellency. Very well. Excellency. Excellency. Nothing there. It's certainly an interesting game. There's obviously you need to make certain moves in a certain order to uh, 
kick things off. Oh wow, they can just destroy stuff? Okay, so the rebels can just walk up to buildings and destroy them. Excellency. Excellency. On our way. Excellency. Excellency. Understood. Excellency. 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 And I need to fix the road there. Which is funny because we know that there's, you know, an enemy unit there. Excellency. Understood. Excellency. Excellency. Okay, well. I think you definitely need to secure your food supply early. Oh, there's another set. Point another minister. Excellency. Excellency. Understood. Excellency. 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 Get him. Combat seems pretty simple in this game. But I think you're gonna. You're probably going to want to eventually have units, like, everywhere. Yeah, I've only got 75 out of 97 now, it's gone up by 2. So I definitely have a power shortage caused by a lack of oil to run the power plants. Yes. yes. Wait a minute, why are you no yes. longer able to go this way? I go right away, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. A large American fast food chain is seeking your permission to bring their operations to Bizenji. You want oil? I haven't got oil either. <laughs> it's 
most disappointing, but I just, I don't have any, buddy. It's not happening. Sorry. Excellency. Excellency. Understood. Excellency. 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 Excellency, on our way. Off you go. Seems pretty easy to take care of these guys with more crews. Right, well, that's it for now. It's certainly an interesting game, for sure. It's obviously got some depth and complexity to it. You can see here I've still got a food problem and now I've got a manufactured food problem as well. However, I am gaining a huge amount of money every turn. So I just presume that if I just keep churning out farms now I'll be alright. Also try and eliminate eliminate the corruption up here and appoint a new minister and so on and so forth. I also need to build that intelligence agency to carry on with the with the story. But I just obviously haven't found the money for it yet. Part of that is my power problem. Okay, alright, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this first impressions. I've got well into it, probably well over time here. And I shall see you guys next time.